Welcome back to another episode of the 2019 mid-season reviews. Today, it's the smiliest man on the grid, the honey badger himself, Mr. Daniel Ricciardo, pulling off overtakes like he's on the Formula One game. I mean, this guy this year, it's not been world-class Ricciardo. Renault hasn't hit the heights they would have expected, but it's been a solid start for a man who, let's be honest, made one of the biggest shock transfers in Formula One history. Ricardo, if you're not aware, if you're just following Formula One for the first time this year, was at Red Bull. Up against Max Verstappen, he's at his boy, he's been at Red Bull since 2014. Last summer, made the switch to go to Renault. Loads of questions, hundreds of questions on why did Ricardo make this brave switch. And I think it's pretty clear that going up against Max Verstappen is going to be a hell of a difficult job. And I've said many times, I think this move for Ricardo is more about the future. This gives him opportunities to see whether a works team like Renault is going to be competitive in 2021. But it also allows him to move to a Ferrari, to move to a Mercedes, that little bit easier. Because I doubt very highly Red Bull would let one of their drivers go to those two teams without a big paycheck. And for Ricardo, this makes things a little bit easier, but... That's not what we're mainly talking about today. We're talking about his season so far. It didn't get off to the best start, did it? Cast your minds back to the very beginning of the season. Australia, his home Grand Prix. First lap, onto the grass, front wing gone, race over. I mean, that was not his best start to his Renault career. And Renault's pace, actually, in qualifying and all the way up to that point in the race, didn't look brilliant. And people were already thinking, oh my God, it looks like Toro Rosso, Alfa Romeo, McLaren are all going to be in front of Renault. Are Renault going to make this step to be able to get close to podiums? Because that's what we were expecting, not only throughout the winter, but following their progress over the last three seasons, it's been looking like they're getting to that point. Hasn't quite happened. Second race of the season. What happens? Well, both Renaults are best of the rest. Fifth and sixth, I believe they were at the time. Last couple of laps. Both cars retire, and it's been a plague of Daniel Ricciardo's career, but also Nico Hülkenberg at Renault. Renault have not been able to sort out their reliability, and the exact same thing has happened this year. They were looking to get best of the rest. Ricciardo's in 11th, Hülkenberg's in 14th in the championship. It's not what they would have expected. Ricciardo, 22 points. Hülkenberg, 17 points. The team's best finish was a P6 from Daniel Ricciardo in Canada. Ricardo himself has only had four points finishes. That is so astounding to me for a guy who I think is the best driver in the midfield. I think there's guys now like Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, George Russell, Danny Kvyat, Pierre Gasly's now back in the midfield that I think over time, if they can prove themselves, may overtake Ricardo. But at the moment, I think Ricardo is the best. He's proved that this season with some awesome overtakes, especially in Hungary. My God, the dive bomb on Giovinazzi was so juicy. And then around the outside of one of the Torossos, I think it was. I mean, he has still got it, has Ricardo, but reliability has not been there. Three retirements from him this season, four if you include Bahrain. In 12 races, that's, that's not great. That is not great. And OK, one of them was Baku when he had a little bit of a reversing incident into Danny Kvyat. But even then, I mean, it's just not been what Daniel Ricciardo would have hoped for. It's not been what Renault would have hoped for. Race to race, head to head. Ricciardo has the edge over Hülkenberg. It's 5-2 to two, and it's only 5-2 to two because I don't want to include retirements. I think that's unfair when you're doing head to head statistics. So... To be honest with you, first year in yellow, we're going to be doing a, a full dive into this one because I can't really talk about Ricardo in just five minutes and trying to just hit key points is very difficult. He's been ahead of his teammate, but I think there have been mistakes from Ricardo this year. And that's where a team like Renault this year have needed someone like Ricardo, who they've plunged so much funds into this year, they've needed him to do better. And reliability's not been there, sure. But a little bit like the Haas boys, consistency from Renault's two drivers, you would expect it to be there. Personally, I haven't quite seen it. So, Ricardo, I want to know your thoughts because this might be a little bit harsh. I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10. 
I'd love to know your thoughts because I, I gave Lance Stroll a 6 out of 10. And for me, that, that doesn't quite add up. But I think Ricardo this year, I would have expected a lot more. It's close to a 7. But I think looking at incidents like Hungary in qualifying, like Baku, for a guy like Ricardo, I just need a bit more. Want to know your thoughts in the comments below? Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.